Hi, my lovely, amazing, beautiful people. How y'all doing today? So can we have a um, car chronicle moment? Just for a little moment. And listen, I'm not about to preach. Um, I just want to kick it with you because I just felt something very, very, very strong in my spirit. And I want to share this with somebody because I know that it's going to be life-changing. If you can grasp it, if you can receive it, it could be life-changing for you. And I was watching a video um, um, on Facebook of um, Tabitha Brown enjoying a night with her family, right? And so I've been following Tabitha Brown for years. For I'm not like one of her new followers. Like I've been following her journey. Like I was on to her like before she before like the hand of God just exploded in her life. Like you know when she was just living in like. Um, before they even moved into their house, but just but just her journey from when she had a little bitty fro, you know what I mean, and and as I was watching, um, something hit my heart very heavy, and I and I felt like I sensed God saying, or He began to minister to me about a Tabitha Brown blessing, right? A Tabitha Brown blessing. What is a Tabitha Brown blessing? First of all, if you don't know who Tabitha Brown is, she's a very, um, she's a, a influential um, vegan um, young black woman. She has um, um, her own clothing line and food line at Target. Um, she's a, she's a, she's an influencer, and um, she's very positive, God fearing woman, and. Um, and she had to go through some challenges and undergo some things. Um, she she she's been waiting on God for years, right? She was an aspiring actress. She lost her mom, and in the midst of her waiting and going to auditions and trying to become this 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 um, this actress that she wanted to be, because she had moved out of town to pursue her dreams. In the midst of all of that, she said that she had got sick. And then when she got sick, she said that was life changing for her because she said she heard the Lord tell her one day, try not eating no meat, you know, just go vegan for 30 days. And she said that 30 days changed her life. That 30 days changed her life. And so from, from that day to this one, her life has not been the same. And so what is the Tabitha Brown blessing? A Tabitha Brown blessing is maybe your. 25 30 35 40 years old right and maybe you are experiencing some trials and some tribulations in your life and maybe you cannot trace the hand of God and so therefore you think that you've seen all that you're going to see you've been blessed to the level that God is um, accepting and willing to bless you um, your dreams you might as well set those aside because they're not coming to pass. Your your gifts um, that you have been trying to uh, diligently um, operate and flow in, it feels like they're not making room for you. With all of that being said, we have to talk about that detour. We have to talk about that barrier. We have to talk about the opposition. We have to talk about the thing that's standing in the way from the, from the side that you're on to the place where you're trying to go, the place where you thought you you would be by now, the place where you know your blessings and your promises lie, the place where you know that God is, is going to do exceeding and abundantly above all that you could even ask, think, believe, or even imagine. So 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 in the middle, you have these, op these oppositions, you have these burdens, you have these barriers, you have all of this, these trials and these tribulations, and you're in your wilderness, and all hell is breaking loose. And that's what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about that middle. I want to talk about that middle because what Tabitha Brown shared with us, she shared with us the middle. And there may be a part of her story that we don't know about, um, obviously and naturally. But what I'm saying is, even if we didn't see the middle directly, we, we saw it indirectly because she shared what the middle looked like. She shared that there was indeed a middle. There was a, a breaking. She shared that there was a decrease. Um, there was a dying to self. There was a shift that was taking place that, that she could not um, readily identify. And it came by way of her illness.
what I want to tell you is that we don't ever talk about that middle. It is what you do and how you do. It is what you take from, what you learn, what you perceive in that middle that is going to transport you over here to the land of plenty. It's going to transport you over here to the land of more than enough. It's going to transport you over here to your promised land. It's going to transport you over here to the area where God will open up the windows of heaven and begin to issue out blessings that you don't even have room enough to receive. You don't have the capacity to, to receive these blessings yet. But so I want to encourage you today, because if you are in the middle, if this is you, if this resonates with you, if this is speaking to your spirit, if your spirit is bearing witness, I just want you to know that if you're in the middle, you're not in the middle by happenstance. You did not just end up in the middle. I loved the T.D. Jake sermon that I watched many, many, many years ago. He had a sermon titled, Nothing Just Happens. I want you to know that nothing just happens. I want you to know that you have to keep hope alive. You have to keep the faith. That's one thing that Tabitha Brown shows us is that when she went vegan, she noticed a difference in her life. What did she do? She started creating content. She started sharing all of the good news. She started sharing recipes. And she would tell you all the time, she said, I had no idea I was going to go viral. I wasn't even trying to go viral. And I want to let somebody know that God is doing something new in your life. Or he's wanting to do something new in your life. And, and when he does this new thing in your life, you're not going to think nothing of it. You're just going to be led. And it's going to feel foreign to you. And I want to let you know that it's going to be uncomfortable it might not be it might not even be anything that you necessarily had could ever see for yourself in your life she probably could never see that she was going to be a vegan some people will tell you oh I, i'll never stop eating meat oh, i'll never move out of my hometown i'll never go to college for that and what i'm saying is it is that place it is it is those situations it is that new thing that god is trying to interject it is that new perspective it is that new idea it is that new way of life it is that new mindset that god is trying to interject in your life that is your transportation to your destiny that is your transportation to your miracle so my response to you is that if you are in the middle if this is you if this resonates with you take it in embrace it find out search diligently seek God like never before and find out what it is that you're trying to do with me how would you like for me to do life where would you like me to go from here because I'm gonna tell you one thing even though Tab is not an inspiring actress that she wanted to be, she's not in Hollywood, hallelujah, but she is working for the kingdom. I want to encourage somebody because this is not for everybody, but some of you, God is going to, God is going to cause there to be a detour in your life because you're still going to be at that same table. You're still going to be around those same people. You're still going to have that great influence, but it's not going to be the way that you, that the way that you thought that it was going to come. It's not going to be that avenue that you thought he was going to use he's still going to use you but he's going to use you his way and his way is going to be greater because he said that i will bless you and add no sorrow to it so god's way is always better god's way is always where his miracles are where his grace is for your mission for your purpose she is graced God has graced her. God is a redeemer of time. Hallelujah. The time that she spent ill, the time that she spent not knowing what to do, the time that she spent in a place where things was not working out. God restored her to the things that the canker worm has eaten from her. He restored to her the days that she lost, the years that she lost. He restored them to her. He preserved her and he saved her for her, for her destiny, for her mission, for her purpose. So I want to encourage you that that's a type of the brown blessing and and the, the reason that i came on here today is to let you know god wants me to tell you that he has a type of the brown blessing for you do this he said tonight i want you to lay in your bed lay on your couch wherever he said visualize what that type of the brown blessing will look like for you and then some of you you're going to have a hard time because you're going to say no that's too big you're going to say no that's too great yay you're going to say, no, that's too grand. Glory to God. 
Yes, God. You're going to say, oh, no. No, 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 no. I can't see myself not struggling. I can't see myself not being in lack. I, I can't see myself being fully healed. I can't see myself walking in destiny, walking in prime, walking in per. I, I, I can't see that. Then you're gonna say, "No, nah, I ain't about to visualize that. That's too big." But you, but but you'll worry. But you'll worry about negative things. Uh, but you'll worry about hypothetical things. Uh, but you'll be anxious about things that. God's not even going to let transpire. You'll worry about what you're going to eat and wear tomorrow, but you won't dare. You won't dare. You won't dare look into your future. You won't dare. You won't dare pay attention and, and, and embrace the, what God is showing you about your future. You won't dare embrace it because it's too big of a thing. It's too great of a thing. And you have yet to believe that God is able. You have yet to believe that God is actually capable. Whoa. You have yet to believe that God is going to do it. Huh. You have yet to believe that God wants to do it. You don't believe because you think you don't deserve it. You don't believe because you think you don't have what it takes. You can't believe because you know all of your incapabilities and inabilities. And therefore, you, you automatically push that out. You automatically say, nah, nah, can nothing like that happen to me. Can anything good come from Nazareth? Can anything happen to me? That's what I want you to do today. I want you to stretch your mind, stretch your imagination. I want you to go where, where your mind doesn't want to take you. I dare you to go there where your mind refuses to look and to ponder. Go in that vision. Peek into your future. Peek into that wellness. Peek into that wholeness. Peek into you living a healthy lifestyle. Peek into whatever God wants to do for you. Whether it's all new people around you. A new scenery. A new state. A new atmosphere. Maybe you have a new attitude in your vision maybe everything is different in your vision everything is different everything is right everything is God I dare you he has that blessing for you I dare you I dare you to start believing and act like you know because he said when you act like you know you're inadvertently activating your faith. Jesus Christ. He says, some of you are writing, making vision boards. And God says, God says, if you will go into your mind and think about those things that are impossible, if you will go into your mind and think about the things that are in, unimaginable, he said, that is your vision board. So listen, I, I love y'all. God has a type of the brown blessing for you. He has a type of the brown blessing for me. We got to know it. We got to believe it. We got to act on it. We got to receive it. All right. I love y'all. Peace.